My name is Una, and I'm going to teach you a little bit about the violin today. First, I'm going to introduce you to some of the parts of the violin. This is the body, and this is the neck, and this curly part up at the top is the scroll. Coming back down, there's four tuning pegs in the scroll, and then we have a small little piece of black wood that lifts the strings off of the fingerboard, which is this big, long, black piece of wood. And then these strings come all the way down and they go over the bridge, and then they attach to the tailpiece, which comes all the way down to the end of the instrument and attaches to the end pin or end button. In the tailpiece, we also have some tuners. The pegs up here make large tuning adjustments, and the fine tuners down here make small tuning adjustments. Here's the chin rest, where we rest our chin when we put the violin on our shoulder to play. This is the bow. It is made out of wood and horsehair. Up at the top is the tip. This is the grip, and this is the frog. And you see that little dot? That's the frog's eye. And down at the end is the screw. Now I'm going to show you how to hold the bow. Take your left hand and hold onto the stick and hold it parallel to the floor. And then take your right hand and check that all of your fingers are curled. Flop all of your fingers over the stick near the frog. Your index finger is going to rest on the grip. Your two middle fingers are going to hug the frog. Sometimes I'd like to call them the hugger brothers. And then your pinky stands on its tip, very close to the screw. Bring your thumb around and land it on the corner of this little piece of metal where the metal meets the bow hairs. This is a nice way to start holding the bow. But eventually, when you get a little bit more advanced and your hand muscles get stronger, you can bring your thumb inside to land on the stick, where the stick meets the frog. After you have set up your bow hold, point the bow up in the air and bring your left hand around to make a table to rest the bow. And this is a nice place to practice the shape. Check that your fingers are staying curled. They might try to disobey you because this is a very strange position for them. Hold it for a couple seconds and then take your left hand, hold the stick and let your, left, your right hand shake out to rest. And try again. Left hand holding the stick, right hand flops over the bow, set up each finger in their spots, Index on the grip, middle fingers hugging the frog, pinky standing tall, thumb on the corner of the metal and the hairs, land on the table. I'm going to show you a little song to help practice your bow hold and strengthen your hand. Up like a rocket, down like the rain, back and forth like a choo choo train. Round and round like a great big sun. Land on your hand, check your pinky. Is it curled? And your thumb, is it bent? Up like a rocket, down like the rain. Back and forth like a choo-choo train. Well done. Before I show you how to put your violin on your shoulder, it's important to set up a shoulder rest to make it more comfortable. I like to start with a piece of foam that you can buy at a music shop, but you could also use a piece of cloth or a pillow that you find around your house. Also find a couple rubber bands and attach them to your violin, and then stick the piece of foam between the rubber bands and the back of your violin, like this. I'll show you how to get into rest position, which is the next step. Put your feet parallel to each other on the floor, under your body, and then stick the violin on your side, over your hip, and let your right arm hang down heavy to pin the violin by your side. 
and let your left arm come down on your other side. This is rest position. To learn playing position, we actually need to ask for a helper. So to get ready to put your violin on your shoulder into playing position, first you have to set up your feet. We start from foot rest position and point our toes out to the side and then take a small step with your left foot. And then take your left arm and give yourself a hug. This makes a really nice shelf for holding your violin on your shoulder. I, the helper, I'm going to take the violin out from under the student's arm and bring it over and put it on her shoulder and I'll be sure to point the end pin right at her neck. Now turn your head and plop it on the chin rest. How does that feel? Great. All right. Do you think that I can take my hands away for three seconds? All right, I'm going to hold them right underneath the violin and count to three. One, two, three. All right, take a deep breath. Do you think you could hold it for five seconds? All right, pop your chin down. One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's go back to rest position. And we'll bring our feet back into rest position and our arms next to our sides. And we'll take a bow. Great job. Let's talk some more about the strings, and I want to introduce their names to you. We've got the E string, and then we have the A string, the D string, and the G string. Sometimes I like to come up with words that start with those letters to help me remember their names. For example, you could call the E string the elephant string, the A string the apple string, the D string the dog string, and the G string could be the giraffe string. Try coming up with your own words to help you remember the names of the strings. Let's work on some left hand technique. We're going to put our violin on our shoulder like we've been practicing with no hands. And then swing your left arm up and curl all your fingers. Try to make them into little tables. This is one leg of the table, this is the table top, and then this is the other leg. And we're gonna land all these tables onto the shoulder of the violin. And you can just rest your thumb softly on the back of the violin. You wanna play a little game? We're gonna make believe we're at a restaurant. And these are four tables set up at the restaurant. And we're gonna think of some food to put on each table preferably something a little bit messy. For example, on your pinky, let's put some spaghetti and meatballs. And, unfortunately, the poor waiter is having a tough day, and they're very clumsy, and they come along and they knock this whole table over. Spaghetti and meatballs everywhere, utter disaster. And then they walk by this next table and knock that one over, and this one, and this one. Oh no, terrible. Or, if you don't like playing games like that, you could just practice the shapes. Stand all your fingers on their tips and make sure that you have three distinct sides to your table shapes. And then from your base knuckle, the knuckle that attaches your finger to your hand, knock the table backwards and then put it back. One, two, three, four. All right, happy practicing. Now that you've practiced your bow hold, we're ready to learn how to put it on the strings. Notice the blue tape in the middle of the stick of my bow. That's the place we're aiming for when we land on the E string. Come in from the air and land at the middle tape and try to do it silently. Let's do it one more time. And then rock very quietly over to A string, try to make no sound, over to D string, and then over to G string. 
and then back, all the way back to E. And see if you can make not one sound. Notice my elbow follows my arm as I come up over to G-string. And then my elbow helps pull my arm back down to my side. Try it again. Now that we know how to land the bow on the strings, let's play something. Let's try the Mississippi hot dog rhythm. We're going to start at our middle tape on the E string and drive just to the next tape and back. Mississippi. And then for the hot dogs, we'll go all the way to the far tape. Hot dog. Let's try that again. Mississippi. Hot dog. All right. How about we try playing it once on the E? and then rock silently over to A, and then back to E. Mississippi hot dog. Mississippi hot dog. Mississippi hot dog. All right, now you're ready to play the first two notes of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star using the Mississippi Hot Dog Rhythm. We're going to rock silently over to A string and play a Mississippi Hot Dog on the A and then on the E. Mississippi Hot Dog Mississippi Hot Dog That's it. That's the first two notes of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. This is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star using the Mississippi Hot Dog Rhythm.